Hello everyone, Songcrafter25 here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, everyone's done it. You're in your new world, you're gathering your materials, you've got a house that looks something like what you see behind me. It's a box, it has a door, maybe you've raised it up off the ground a level with some cobblestone, maybe not. And it's got some torches to keep things from spawning near you. But that's about it. So where do you go from there? What I'm going to try to do is to give you a few ideas of ways you can, forgive the pun, spruce up your house a little bit. Now you've got your basic survival box house. Um, got the necessities covered, but that's about all. Now, it, it's okay. It, it gets the job done, but... Sooner or later, you're probably going to want to do a little bit more with it. Uh, probably one of the first things you can do is add windows, but we won't start there. Now, since we have the luxury of being in creative mode, I can fly up and um, take care of this. But a simple, very simple little thing you can do um, for starters, is when you process uh, some wood, um, in this case I'm using oak because it is very commonly available in survival mode, uh, one of the first things you can do is to process it into oak wood rather than oak planks. Uh, knock out the corners of your house. And... Um, Just column yourself up, and you can see there's a nice, uh, subtle little texture change, and I'll show you how that looks here in a second once I hit all four sides. I mean, the planks are okay, I, it does what it's meant to do in that, but as your game progresses, it it's just, you know... Nice to change things up a little bit. Now, Grian, he's got some excellent tutorials on this sort of thing. I mean, things you can do with survival houses. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel below. And definitely go check it out. He is a far better builder than I am by far. And an excellent reference for anyone, whether you've got experience or not. But yeah, as you can see, it's not a drastic, not a drastic look, but um, a, a huge contrast. But it's a nice, subtle, almost kind of a rustic look, really. Uh, it's one that I find very pleasant. Um, I've also done this with birch. If you want something a little more high contrast, as you can see, that's um, that's changing it up a little bit already. Now, I kind of like the cobblestone, but you know what? If you have the luxury and you have some available, you can change that up a little. Kind of make it look like an older house. Um, I thought I... Alright, I thought I picked up some co mossy cobblestone, but... Uh... <laughs> Oops. Only in Minecraft could typos be fatal. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, let's pick up some mossy cobblestone. And we can give that sort of, um, kind of go at random. Change that up a little bit. Just a little bit here and there around the foundation if you're going to leave that exposed. It's like it, like the house has been there a while. And I'll just go all around. As you can see, that changes it up just a little bit too, right there. 
that's that's not a bad effect, really. Uh, you can do the same thing if if you want. You can um, you can dig a quick little. path there. Another way to use up some cobblestone and of course you can change it up with a little bit of the mossy. Just to just to give it that aged look. I just want a little bit there and not um, not so neat every other no. okay. Now, this is looking like it needs one more thing on the outside before we get to the windows. And that is some, um, maybe some flowers. Now, if you've got a furnace, uh, which most do by this point, and if you're lucky enough to have a river with some clay you can mine with a shovel, uh, you can make some bricks in the furnace and turn those into flower pots. Now, let's, uh, let's go into my inventory where I've got some flower pots here. Now, bear in mind this only works with one block high flowers. So you're talking things like uh, like your corn flowers, your daisies, like I've got here. Uh, nothing like your peonies, your rose bushes, your lilacs, those won't work for this. But if it's one block high and it's a flower, this will work. So you could do that. something a little bit cheery there. Actually, that's not looking too bad. But by now, um, probably starting to think, well, you know, I could look at this, and it's not too bad, but let's, um, let's put in some windows. Now, the most common would be slit windows. Come on, there we go. And of course you could do glass blocks, but I like glass panes because as you can see here, it's not just flat, um, it actually comes in a little bit, a uh, little bit of dimension there. Now you could do just slit windows like that and that's okay, but I like to do those too high. One you see out more too, it just it just looks a little more finished. So I'm going to go around here. Oops, I need to get rid of that too. Just pop in some windows. And for this, of course, I made a nine by nine block house. Um, odd numbers for a house like that make things easier to center, so it's not all cattywampus. It's a funny word, I like that, cattywampus. And I'll finish putting this window in here and I'll um, get us set back to daylight. And the weather's lousy, so... Yeah, red at night, sailor's delight. As the old saying goes. Okay, now that's... That's not looking too bad. I'm going to, um... Just put a couple torches in the corners, like you're more... More than likely to have... Just keep stuff from spawning on you. Okay, now that's, uh, that's starting to look a little more like a decent house. And this is even before we get a roof on. That's, that's not too terrible. But we could do a little bit better. So what I'm going to do here... Is go like so. And grab some trapdoors. Now you can use different kinds of trapdoors. They each have their own effects, but 
honestly, I kind of like the effect of the oak trapdoors. They actually look like shutters. See, when you put them up like this... Ooh. I should have made this house just a little bigger, so I wouldn't be putting it right on the corner post, but... Okay, that's... That's my mistake. <laughs> but either way, hopefully, um, the idea is there. And as you can see, that looks like shutters. Well, I'm going to go around to all of these windows and put on some shutters, and we'll move on to the next thing we can do. That's just a quick, easy thing. All the things, um, well, mostly, that you can find in survival mode. I'm not as sure about the mossy cobblestone. I'll have to double check and see if there's a way you can craft that. But if you're lucky enough to mine it, great. If not, uh, it's okay to go to creative mode. This is your home. You want it to look as good as you can. But for intents and purposes of this video, we're looking at survival mode. Now, those shutters look nice, but there's not a lot of contrast with the door. Now, if you're lucky enough to have different kinds of trees near you, great. What you can do is um, just change up the door. Now I'm going to try dark oak here. And that actually looks pretty good. I think I'll keep that. Okay, this is starting to, starting to look pretty snazzy. Hmm, but we need some light, and I don't want that torch there, because eventually I want to put a flag up. I usually put a flag above the door of my house. One thing that uh, you can do, and this again is uh, very, very easy in survival mode, as you can take some fence posts, some lanterns. Now, I don't want this to stand out too much, because I want the focus to be on the lantern. So I make it the same wood as I do the walls of the house. So that part of it kind of blends in. Put those there and um, you can actually hang lanterns off the bottom. See something just a little bit more refined. It's actually kind of cute. Uh, which you can also do is around the corners. You can just put single fence posts up. And you can go right ahead and stick your torches on top of that. Now I do that at all four corners so it discourages um, unfriendly visitors. You can also make uh, lampposts in a similar way. What is it with the weather on this thing? If only it were this easy to change the weather in real life. <laughs> I could put those around all the windows, but honestly, I just like that on the front. So let's clear up the weather again. Well, that's, that's not looking too bad. Um, I don't know. Um, I think I might actually just uh, take those down. But you get the general idea. It's something that you can do on your animal pens so that uh, you don't get unfriendly spawning near them. 
and uh, doing nasty things to the animals, like killing them. Okay, the flower pots are nice, but um, what about some hedges? Now, if you have a pair of shears, you can use those to harvest leaf blocks. I'm going to use oak leaves, just uh, because, uh, hey, we're relying mostly on oak. Very commonly available, so you just take some oak leaves and you can go like that and make uh, little hedges. Which doesn't look too bad, actually. Okay, by now this is looking uh, fairly nice. And you can also harvest flowers. You can go right ahead and just put flowers on the path. You could put flowers near the door. There's a whole bunch of things you could do. For now, we need a roof. Now, for a basic box style house, there's a lot of things you can do, but I'm just going to show you the one I use most commonly, which some might actually call a newbie roof. I also, and uh, whatever you do, don't skimp on the wood and make the roof hollow, because once you close it up, things can and will spawn inside your roof. Now I like to have an overhang on that, so I go out one past the front and the back of the house. Oops, and that'll give me a support. And that'll give me a little bit of a support to uh, put the uh, material of choice. In this case, I'm going to use cobblestone steps on the top. Um, just again, because it is the most commonly available in survival mode. You can, of course, uh, use the stone of your choice later on. Easy enough to change out. And uh, just have fun with it. You know, just, just play around with different things, uh, different looks. It's, it's all about your own style, doing your own thing. You know, just, just have fun with it, really. I mean, that's, that's what this whole thing's all about. Now, I'm not going to bother... Um, <laughs> I'm not going to bother changing the time of day, just because, you know, I like the way the lamps look out there. We've got enough light to work with. So you know what? It's all good. And again, you want these uh, last three... Just, I'm gonna, I want this a little bit flat on the top, so for the top of that I'm going to use uh, cobblestone slabs. Instead of steps. Of course if you have mossy cobblestone you can of course change that up. And you know, just add a little different texture, but 
I'm not going to do that for now just because I want to keep this thing going. So, uh, normally you could uh, build a column or scaffolding or steps up to the level you need. Give yourself a little bit of an overhang. You can see why we need those uh, supports. So I'll knock out those extra blocks and that'll just leave the cobblestone steps hanging over the edge. And that'll that'll actually look very nice. As this is all just very basic, uh, you could go as simple or as complex as you want. It's all up to you and what you want to do. Again, don't make the roof hollow or you will have things spawning inside your roof and the sound will drive you nuts. Plus, when you go to... Oops. Oh, oops. <laughs> well, I, uh... Oopsies. I guess I kind of forgot my little supports on that side. <laughs> Mea Koopa. Happens to us all. Easy enough fix, though. Okay, good. Now on the top, I'm just gonna put some cobblestone slabs just to finish things off a little. I love the music, so peaceful. And that'll just cover that over. Very, very nicely there. Knock out those um, supports. And that'll leave you with a very nice, basic A roof. And you can leave it like this, and it's a, it's a very nice little cottage by this point. That's, that's really what it kind of looks like, is a, it's a very nice, uh, simple cottage. Now for myself, I like to make it a little bit on the rustic side, so I just take some raw oak logs. Uh, for this, it really only takes four. I'm just going like so. Make sure it's centered. I like it so you can see the ends of the wood, and that makes it look like you've got a beam all the way through. Uh, works with other different kinds of wood, but again, I'm sticking with oak insofar as I really can. Although those stairs are spruce, that's another one you might uh, have commonly available to you. Uh, depending on what biome you spawn in. Well, that's not looking too bad. And there's a basic little survival house. I want to thank you guys for joining me for this little tutorial. And if you liked it and you find it useful, um, please hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get word of all my new videos as I make them. And I'll talk to you guys in the next part. Bye!